what's happening locally because I've seen some really good signs. Yeah, we're, um, things are, we're, we're at a turnaround right now. I believe that the market has corrected and uh, we're, turning, we're turning the corner now. <clears throat> right now we have um, only 3,200 homes on the market, homes and condos on the market. That's down from 5,500 in February. That's amazing. Yeah, and um, 2,100 of those uh, are pending, which is a 54% increase since February. And, and is there a particular price range that this is focusing on, or is it just overall? Um, it's, it's pretty much overall. I would say the biggest um, sales are in the 350 and under price range, wow. the biggest amount of sales. Yeah. That's great. Mm -hmm. And yeah. what would you attribute this, this month compared to last month when you came in? Partly because we're in season. The other part is because people now know, and the news is getting out, mm -hmm. that the market is changing nationally. Mm -hmm. And um, they know that it's a good time to purchase. Um, inventory uh, you know, is still there, but down quite a bit. Um, prices are down. They have not started to go up much and mortgage rates are down. So mm -hmm. all of those factors are taken into consideration. Investors are here coming, they're here, they're purchasing in droves. Is it, it, it we're, we're coming towards the end of the season. Is, it, is this something that's kind of a little late to get in the game to say, wait, I'm thinking about putting my house on the market and I wanna kind of catch this wave of investors. Is it still a good time? To do so, I want to say, if you want to put your house on the market, please call me because <laughs> I need <laughs> listings. I've sold all my listings. So, yeah. So, it is a good time to put your house on the market, definitely. And I think that the trend toward buying is going to stay strong mm -hmm. through the summer. Well, and I would imagine, though, even though we're at the end of the season, a lot of people tend going back home up north. The one thing that they have done is they have connected with the realtor. So even if they haven't found something while they're here, it's still a situation that, that they say to you, call me if, if, a mark, if a house goes on the market that fits under, under this plan. Right, and yes, and the buyers, they do come down here, they get a relationship going with the realtor. The realtor starts to understand what they like mm -hmm. after showing them 50 houses. <laughs> yeah, yeah really. You, you kind of get an idea. <laughs> no, actually, you, you really, a, a good realtor will have an idea after showing three houses what the buyer, what the buyer likes. And, and, and yeah, that's happening and because we'll, because many times we can't find things for people. Sure, absolutely. And, and what is it that they're looking for right now, the buyers? Um, mostly, I would say the biggest price point that buyers are looking at is in the two to three hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollar price range. Is there any description about the type of house or the type of neighborhood? Or open, is it you know, they want everything. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> nice neighborhood, open floor plan, pool, mm -hmm. you know, um, uh, tile roof. Sure. Uh, uh, neighborhoods with activities. And, and, and what about uh, the homes that have been on the market for a, a while in the sense that they were um, short sale properties, things like that? I mean, you know, or maybe the houses that need a little bit of fixing up. Is that still something that buyers have an interest in? Yeah, buyers are still buying. As you can, um, you know, short sales account for more than half of the properties under contract right wow. now. So, um, yeah, so there, people are buying them. <clears throat> actually, I read an article today. Actually, today, I think the Bank of America just announced that that they're they've reduced they they changed all their short sale programs mm -hmm. so that the short sales are now going to be going through in twenty days. Really? Yeah, that I read that just before I came here. So they've changed their whole process. Yeah, well, it used to take a very long time. Are you three saying? to six months, anyway. Sh mm -hmm. Wow. So that's just new, new news. That's actually out. a good mm -hmm. thing, though, because, yeah. then, because of all the short sales on the market, people can take advantage of that. Yeah, there's a lot more short sales than, than uh, foreclosures. Wow. And so what's happening in the national market? Um, well, you know, I just got a report from Remax, mm -hmm. uh, which which uh, uh, took a look at 53 metro areas, and the home prices nationally are up 1.1%. Um, in, in those 24 metro areas, 24 of them experienced a price increase from February wow. of 2011, and those included Miami, which had a 20.5% increase, and Orlando, which had a 15.8% increase in prices. Those are That's amazing. Uh -huh. Yeah. And, and do you think we're heading in that direction as well? I think so. I think, we, you know, with our inventory down to one and a half 
month's supply, you know, prices are bound to start going mm -hmm. up. Now, they're not going to go up, you know, they're sure. not going to go up a lot, you know, but they're, they are going to, they are going to start. Going I'm up. just happy that the inventory isn't as, as great. I mean, I know for you, you need, you need it because you yeah. need it, you need to be able to have houses to sell. Yeah. But it's better, I think, to have it that way. Uh, than to have an incredible amount of, of homes just basically sitting yeah. there, you know, waiting. Yeah, and nationally there's 6.6 6 months supply of homes, so we're we're really coming into a normal market. Mm -hmm. And this it's, is this is what they call adjusting itself. Yeah, yeah. Here in Sarasota, we're correcting. So daytime. so you had uh, also mentioned something in a conversation that we had prior to coming on the air about an REO, and I didn't get a chance to ask you, you know, what exactly is that and what you're talking about. You know, most people don't know what that means. <laughs> Me included. <laughs> I, I, and I was asked it the other day by a buyer, and it kind of took me aback because I thought, oh, everybody knows what that is. But, you know, as realtors, we know what that is. It means real estate owned. Okay. And, and it's what a, does that it's mean? a line item on a bank on a bank statement that says that they owned real estate. So okay. it's a property that has gone through the foreclosure process that the bank actually owns. Oh, so REO is is a bank term mm -hmm. that they're using. And so what what is the significance of, of this term? Why is it so important to know? Well, just that, you know, a lot of people refer to them as foreclosures. It's, they're actually bank um, properties Property that, owned by the bank. that are owned by the bank. Um, there are lots of risks involved, and I wanted to speak to that, mm -hmm. um, because there are risks involved in, in purchasing an REO, or a bank-owned property. And one of those risks is that many of these properties, and most of them, have been bank vacant mm -hmm. for long periods of time. Um, and, you know, and, and vacant properties have, have risks. Um, of unknown damage that could have taken place during the time, during the time it was vacant. Mm -hmm. Well, the lenders have all these waivers and disclaimers that release the buyer of the liability for that damage. So it's very important that a buyer gets really good and does his due diligence mm -hmm. and gets really good property inspections and has the place checked out thoroughly. And also that the buyer performs the walkthrough the day before closing mm -hmm. because if you don't perform your walkthrough something could have happened between the time you Diminished wrote your assault. contract yeah. did your inspections and, and and you know somebody could have gone in there and vandalized or whatever mm -hmm. because it, it's very easy it's in some of these foreclosed properties that vandals can go in and do, do, do stuff yeah because they're they're unattended on a regular basis and and I would I would also you know, sometimes the the former owner didn't leave in, on in good terms either, and so right. they tend to right. they tend to take things well, out. They with rip them. out, yeah. They rip out cabinets and, and appliances, plumbing, and, and whatever. Yeah, yeah. And the other the other risk involved in in uh, doing a uh, buying a, an REO property mm -hmm. is that the title um, is sometimes not conveyed with a full warranty. Mm -hmm. So, uh, because lenders generally have their own title companies prepare the title, and so the buyer doesn't even know this until he goes to sell it and finds out that there's a cloud on the title or he doesn't have a full warranty on the title, and so he can't sell the property. So it's very important, very important to note that uh, what a buyer should do mm -hmm. when they are going to buy an REO property, which you can get a really good deal, mm -hmm. I'm not trying to discourage anybody from doing that, I just want you to be careful, is to have an attorney review the title so that uh, the attorney can determine whether the title was done mm -hmm. properly. So that's a big thing. Absolutely. Um, I also wanted to ask you too about the the renters market and mm -hmm. and are a lot of people investing in homes right now to live in or are they investing in in homes to essentially be a, a, you know a rental? Well, there's a whole lot of investors out there that are purchasing homes to rent out, and rightfully so. I mean, they're getting a good return on their mm -hmm. investment. You know, you purchase a property for one hundred and fifty thousand dollars and and do a little fix up to it and then rent it out for fifteen hundred dollars a month mm -hmm. you're, you know and you pay cash for it you're you're getting a good return on your investment and then over years the property is going to appreciate you know? so, and i would imagine too that for those of uh, us who think a little bit further in advance for retirement mm -hmm. know they want 